All right, friends, we're doing another unboxing of sorts. Yeah, this is an unboxing, kind of an unboxing, because this is in a box. These, uh, this is in a box. This is in a wrapping, but we're going to, we're going to still unbox it. So, um, this, what is this? This is Hand and Foot Remastered. It is a proprietary uh, canasta. There's a variant of canasta called Hand and Foot. In that variant, you get not just a hand of cards, which is 11 cards. You get another 11 cards, with, which is your foot. You, place, you uh, place them face down. You don't get to look at them until you're done with your hand. Then you get to work on your foot. Well, Canast is already this game with uh, a lot of points and a lot going on. Uh, now you've got basically two hands you've got to deal with. And so what this game does is um, it gives you a, uh, like a lot of Canasta deck of cards that have the, the numbers on them. These have the, the points, the numbers on them, uh, but they're, they're not your traditional face cards. We're going to have a look. We're going to take a look at these. You'll see what I mean. Um, so uh, these here, this is an eight-person set uh, from Amazon, and, and this pack uh, is just from Hand and Foot Remastered. This is their uh, action pack. So before we just open it up, why don't we take a look around this box. You'll see, I'm going to try to manually zoom in here. See how those are, oh, I'll do it this way. How about that? See, those aren't your traditional face cards. Um, so... Because Canast is one of the forms of rummy that has so much going on as far as scoring, a lot of the Canasta packs will have the, the points on the card. And you'll see an 8 is 10, King is 10, a 5 is 5, the 3 is worth 100 points. Um... And Hand and Foot is one of the most popular Canasta variants in the U.S. And I'm very intrigued by this set because it's very... I just, I just think it's very clean. I like the style of those cards. If you see uh, how those look, I like the compactness of this set. Also, if you play with regular cards... With especially hand and foot, you need so many um, cards to actually play the game. I think in here, if I remember right, we're going to find nine decks of cards. Okay. So let's get into it and see if I'm right. See if I'm recalling that correctly. Got the cellophane off. All right. Um, so we'll open that up. You'll see more scorecards. That's what's in here. Um, yeah. Try to get the shadow out of the shot a little bit. Sorry, lighting in this room is very tough. So here we go. So on the top, we found the scorecards. I've got another pack of scorecards here. Um, here is literature, if you will. The basics, what are melds and books, how to play. So a nice standard set of instructions, which is nice. And then what, we've got two, four, Six, eight, nine, nine deck of cards. You'll notice they're all different colors. 
And I think that that is one of the nice things with this set. You see, if you have a normal deck of cards, they're either going to be a red deck of cards or maybe a blue deck of cards. And I've got a bunch of standard deck of cards, but they're usually either red or blue. So once you're done playing your game and you've got them all mixed up, how do you separate them back into the individual packs? How do you separate the families, if you will? Well, here they all have different backs to them, different colors. So orange, you just have to separate the orange cards to put them back in the orange pack. They go back in here. Nice and easy when you're done. I really like that. I think that introduces something, uh, a quality of life improvement um, over just using a standard deck of cards. Now, uh, let's go ahead and open one of these up. I don't see... Oh, no, maybe I'm wrong. I was going to say I don't see the the bubblegum sort of uh, opener here, but I don't know if you can... I've got the lighting a little weird on this one, but you can see that. I'm going to get my nail in there and just open that up. So here, there it does open up kind of like a pack of gum. I really don't know how I feel about these companies using all of the, the plastic, disposable plastic. Uh, I, I, I would really prefer us not to have to do that as a universe, right? Um, let's not use so much plastic or at least disposable plastic. Uh, but, you know, you got to keep them, keep them in, in high quality through the mail, which is no small feat. So I'm going to try to open this up. Maybe I can't do it like that. I have to, maybe I have to do this off camera. I apologize. All right, I'm trying to open it up. I can't get this open. Oh, geez, look at that. I'm even digging my nail in there. Oh, we got it. We breached the hull. All right. Okay, here we go. So here's, I'm gonna just, this one was in the back. Wild. So that's how it, it slid out. This one on top. Oops. Um, this looks like a little to meld round one, round two, round three card values. This looks like a little cheat sheet card. Hold on. I'm going to reposition this, this light a little bit. I'm not pleased with the shadow it's casting. So see a little bit of production in real time. I think this, this shadow will be more palatable here. Let's see. Yeah, that's a little better. All right, so this is a little cheat sheet card. Let's uh, fan through the cards here. There's your, these uh, black threes, negative 100, red threes, 100. I, I like the simplicity of the design on these cards. There's something interesting about this, this simple design. And, the, and this uh, hand and foot remastered is far from the only company that does this for uh, hand and foot. It is simply the only one that uh, I have the set for. So, um, yeah, sevens and eights, nines and tens. They all seem to be different colors. Oh, we got some wilds here. Wilds, you'll see those are 20 points. Those orange wilds are 20 points. Green wilds, 50 points. Um, <clears throat> I think for the sake of uh, our sanity, we won't open up all of these, all of these decks of cards, because I think they're all going to be the same. They're decks of cards. 
They're gonna look a lot like this, but I will open up another one. Do I wanna open up green? This is the dark green. There's like a light green set here. We opened up orange, so let's light orange, which is not to be confused with the dark orange. Let's do purple, because I think that will be one that uh, is easily not confused. So we'll open it up. Yeah, and then uh, just uh, noticing that there, if you're colorblind or if you're, you have trouble discerning color, like maybe you're just, uh, you know, cataracts or something, I don't know. The, the differentiation between like the, this is this here, this color is like a dark green. This is more of like a light green. This is sort of a turquoise, I guess. This is like a blue. Maybe you might have a hard time with that distinction and, and this set might not be for you. I don't know. Uh, I don't have that issue right now. So it's hard for me to make commentary on that, but it is something that I think it's worth noting. Uh, and just looking at the colors here on the, the sort of viewfinder or the, the image here on my phone um, and what's what I'm seeing, pretty accurate representation. I don't know how it'll come through for you, uh, that's probably going to depend on your screen <laughs> that you're watching this on and a bunch of other factors. Um, so just keep that in mind. But here's hand and foot, another, um, you know, cheat cheat and same dealio. But you'll see that's the back of the card, right? Different color than and I'll, I'll flip one of these over before we just fan through all of them. Let's just pull one out from the orange deck. And you'll see that's the orange deck. Okay. So there you go. So the front of the card looks the same. It's the back of the card. That will help you distinguish them when the game's over. Oh, here's orange, goes back in the orange deck, and pink, or what is this, purple? Sort of on the border there, I don't know. Um, but this is going to look pretty similar. There's def definitely a, uh, an orientation to this, right? You hold this one upside down, the hand and foot are upside down. I don't know if that bothers me a lot, but that might bother some people. Keep that in mind. Same deal, same colors, different back, same cards. And that's, I think, the uh, distinguishing thing here is it, it's, it just lets you, when you're done, it's easier to sort these back out into their individual sets, their individual packs to put them back into this little package and fit them in your backpack or, or bag or whatever you got with you that you're carrying them in. Under your arm, who knows? Um, so we won't open up all of those, set those aside. Put these here but let's open up this what this is the action pack and this i didn't see it on amazon but i did see it they advertised it to me um via an email if i remember right hand and foot remastered on their website they have this action pack it adds action cards to your game of hand and foot um We've seen that before with Rummy Games. Rumapoo comes to mind. It's one of my favorites. Has action cards, the poop cards. Well, this is kind of like adding poop cards to your hand and foot canasta game. Um, and there's different like categories. 
And this might get confusing with the different backs here, but you'll see they have the name of the, the action on the back. So like the impact card. And if I remember right, the impact card, this each round you put the impact, you select an impact card, you put it out and that affects all players uh, for the entirety of that round. So eight cards required to complete all books this round, right? So this one gets played uh, and that is for that round. Uh, one of the things that this takes effect to all players. Um, and then your action, your action cards, you got uh, action and attack here. Let's see. Hey, there's, well, let's take a look at this one. Hot seat. All players stand up and take the seat to their right. Only the cards in their hand are still yours. Um, so it looks like you just sort of change seats, but the, the hand stays the same? I don't know. I mean, I haven't unboxed this before. I've, I've not actually played this yet. So let's see. This is an action card. Next player to ask whose turn it is loses next turn. Negative 20. So this spices up the game. I thought this is fun. Uh, in the email that they sent me, they said for a set, right? Like this is a eight person set for any set you have. Start with getting one action pack, you know, one action pack and go from there. Uh, if you want to order more because you've got more cards, you can do so, but try it out with, a, with one first. I thought that was a fair recommendation. Even though I've got nine packs here, I don't know if I'm always gonna be playing with nine packs. So um, I decided I'd start out with one. And I think the, the sparseness of the action cards might be right, but we'll, we'll see. I, I gotta play it first. I'm just gonna flip through a couple of these pages on the, um, this is on the scorecard here, but it's all the same. And it's the same page over and over again. Uh, what I might do is just scan these and print a bunch of them. Um, but uh, I don't think this is a, a major, uh, major company. What's this? Um, 2020 Gray Dog Ventures, LLC. I've never heard of them. Um, Gray Dog Ventures. I still got shadowing being a little strange here today. Sorry about that, but I hope you can see that. Uh, anyways, that is uh, Hand and Foot Remastered. We got decks of cards, nine decks of cards. This is the eight person playing set. The action pack and plenty of scorecards. I, mean, I don't know how many of those are off the top of my head. I, I don't recall how many is in each. Does this say? I feel like the box should say. What does the box say? I should have a look at that. Um, ages 14 plus contains nine 54 card decks of hand and foot remastered casino quality cards uh, and up to eight players instructions and in, in, uh, score score pad but it doesn't say how many on the score pad I don't know I don't know um, and 
to their point of casino quality. I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to get this with the light having a sort of a strange shadow today. See if I can get a texture. You can kind of see the texture on those. They are. They feel like real, legit playing cards. They Should I, uh, yeah, let's, let's do a shuffle. Separate these action cards. We'll do the orange deck here. Keep in mind, I'm terrible at shuffling. Those bend okay. They maybe keep a uh, shape uh, more strongly than I would like. Like they bend out of shape a little quickly. Um, maybe don't have enough bounce to them. See what I mean? I can bend that back, but it's too much like crimp and curl. I don't know if anyone gets that reference. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, casino quality. Pretty close. I like the texture. They're a little thin. They could have more backbone. Very playable. They're easy to shuffle. They bend easily. Maybe if you have arthritis or something, that's that's a good deal. Very easy to shuffle. They just keep their shape a little bit more than uh, I would like. But again, pretty easy to bend right back because they keep their shape. So anyhow, that's hand and foot. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, you know, all that, all that uh, YouTube stuff. Do those things. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. All right. Bye.